Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will see reserve words in Java. So reserve words are predefined words which is associated with some functionality or meaning. Okay, that is the definition, proper definition of what reserve words. Hold on. Okay, so reserve words are what predefined words which is associated with some functionalities or meaning. Fine. So these reserve words are recognized by Java compiler and Java runtime means JVM. Who knows this words? This words are recognized by Java compilers and JVM. That is JRE. Okay. Is it fine? Java runtime engine. You know, we have 53 reserve words and the reserve words are divided into two categories. What is that two category? These two categories are keywords that is 50 keywords and we have three reserve literals. Fine. Now let's discuss about keywords. Fine. You know keywords are predefined words or reserve words that have some special meaning inside Java programming language. That is the proper definition of what? Keywords. Keywords have some special meaning inside Java programming language. These keywords are directly available throughout the JVM. That is the reason we can't use, you know, keywords as an identifier because it is available throughout the JVM directly. For example, we have few keywords like public, static, void, class. This all are what keywords. Fine. Now this keywords, you know, now you have to see this keywords are what 50. We have 50 keywords. This 50 keywords are divided into two parts. The first part is what used keywords and the second one is unused keywords. Unused keywords means we are not using this keyword in Java. If you will use this keyword in Java, then you will get what compile time error. It is not allowed to use. For example, which one? Go to and the const. These two keywords. Go to and const. Okay. Now let's see one by one about the used keywords. So we have few keywords for data types like byte short, int, long, double, char, boolean. This all are what data types. So this is what keywords for data types. When we will learn this data types concept, we are going to see this, this what? This seven keywords. Don't worry. Okay. For now, you have to aware that, okay, key, uh, keywords for data types are this byte, short, int, long, double, char, boolean. Now we have few keywords related to control statements. For example, if else is there, switch is there, case is there, default is there, for, do, while, break, continue and return. Don't worry, when we will see this control statements, then we are going to cover all the 11 what keywords. Fine. Now we have few keywords for what modifiers like public, private, protected, static, final, abstract, native, synchronized, strict FOP, transient and volatile. Fine. And we have few keywords which is related to class means class related keywords like we have class, interface, extends, implements, package, import and we have some object related keywords also like new is there, instance of is there, super is there, this is there and we have exception handling related keywords also like try, catch, finally, throw, throws, assert, assert came in which version 1.4 version fine so this all are what keywords that we are using so for now you might be thinking that hey he's only saying this all are keywords hold on okay we are going to discuss in detail each and everything but this is this lecture is only related to give you the overview of reserve keywords present in java we will see each and everything each and every keyword in detail with respect to time when time will come 
we will see if i will explain you uh, about try catch finally at this instance you are not going to get anything that is the reason i am not explaining these things when time come with a flow we will learn each and everything fine next void return type keyword fine so you know if your method is not returning anything then it is compulsory that method should be declared with void return type okay this rule you have to consider if your method is not returning anything then it is compulsory that method should be declared with the void return type so for that we have used what this void what void keyword void fine now see few things in java 1.2 version strict fp keyword got introduced in java 1.5 version assert got introduced in java 5 enum got introduced fine so we have covered strict fp assert also enum is left right so let's see the enum so you know enum is this enum this enum is also a keyword which is introduced in 1.5 version to define a group of named constant java enums are what a special class called as this class is called as enumeration class also okay java enum so to define the enums we we have to use this enum keyword for example see i'm defining one enum this enum name is what level so and this all are what constant we are defining a group of named constants like low high medium and another example is enum month this month is what enum name so to define the enum we have to use this enum keyword fine so this month is what enumeration class and it contains what all 12 months right so th this is what i am uh, saying that enum is used to define a group of named constants so here jan constant defines january february march april may till december we are defining all this thing as a group in this enum right in this enum we will see this concept in detail don't worry for now just remember we have this enum keyword also in java so i think uh, we have almost cover 48 right 48 keywords i hope uh, you have counted everything or you can count in the keywords for data type there were seven keywords for control statements we have 11 then keywords for modifier we have 11 so 22 22 plus 22 plus 7 is how many 29 right so 29 done and then we have seen class related keywords also which were 6 right so 35 done then object related keywords we have 4 so 39 done an exception handling related keywords we have 6 so 45 done plus this void void right void keyword void keyword means 46 done and then we have uh, covered what we have covered what assert right uh, assert no this enum enum so enum we have covered so enum means plus 1 that is 47 we have covered and one is pending what is that one Okay, so total we have covered 47 till now. One is missing. Let me go back to the slide. Okay, let me check the keywords for data type. Byte is there, short is there, int long, double care boolean. Okay, one more thing is missing here. That is float. Float. Sorry. I'm sorry about this. Okay, so float. Now it becomes 48 plus one is 48. So we have covered. all the 48 keywords okay which is present in java so you you might have noticed that all the characters in the reserve keywords in java must be used in which lower case because identifiers are case sensitive 
means reserve words in java should contain only lower case alphabet symbol if you see any of the reserve word here any of the reserve word all the reserve words contains everything in which which case lower case this is one conclusion okay let me go ahead now we have to cover first unused keywords so what are the unused keywords go to and c o n s t const okay so go to you know go to is banned because it leads to confusion for a programmer and creates several problems in old languages like c fine and const is uh, not uh, useful here because in the place of const we are using final in java in the place of const we are using what final so that is the reason this two are what unused keywords this two keywords are unused in java so by mistake if we are using these keywords in our program then we will get compile time error go to and const are unused keyword and if if we are trying to use this then we will get what compile time error then one thing is left what is that reserved literals right so in the reserve literals we have two literals boolean and reference literal in the boolean we have this true and false and this true and values are the two values for boolean right boolean data type boolean okay so this is what boolean literal and next is reference literal in which we have only one that is null so this null is what default value this null is what default value default value for object reference default value for object object reference fine this much is fine so this is what boolean literal in which we have true and false and this is what reference literal in which we have null so one more point these are literals okay literals are not keywords these are not keywords okay but these are reserve words that is for sure but these are not keywords okay so next note one special point and then this lecture is over see all the characters in the reserve words in java must be used in lower case and that you have also seen everything is in lower case even this true and false is in lower case this null is in lower case go to uh, final then we have seen various things like what byte short int long then do while everything is in lower case so all the characters in the reserve words in java must be used in lower case remember this point now at the end keywords are used to communicate with compiler and jvm about the operations we are performing in java application okay so that is all about keywords so thanks for your valuable time please subscribe our youtube channel for further updates